Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your September tarot reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and joining me today. If you're new, please subscribe and like. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, Gemini, let's see what is the general energy for you in the month of September. Gemini, September 2022, what is the general energy? Okay. Three of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Swords. Okay, so Three of Swords to me before anything else is a card of bravery. Before being a card of heartbreak, before being anything. It takes so much courage to really look at the things that hurt us. I think that with the Three of Cups in the reverse right now, the focus is definitely on you in the month of September. Trying to get better, trying to have meaningful conversations, maybe about something that happened in the past. Maybe you want to clarify something when it comes to love. Um, the focus is definitely on what will help you get into that Four of Swords energy, which, which come right after. Four of Swords is a time of healing, of course. It's a time of resting mentally, spiritually. It's about giving ourselves that care. So we're able to be the best friend, partner, son, daughter, co-worker, boss, whatever it is. So right now... You could definitely feel like you don't have much energy to give to your friends, to people around you. It's a time where you need the support. You need the love. You need the care. And that can be really overwhelming for someone like you, Gemini. You guys are incredibly independent. Geminis are some of the people where anytime someone has a problem, they're going to text or call their Gemini friend. Um, I know this is something I do. Um, the Geminis are always ready with ideas, always saying yes, always exciting, ready for a new beginning. There's always something happening with you guys. Not only you're super talented, but... You know how to use your mind and have meaningful conversations and really impact the people around you. But this month, Gemini, the challenge is how can you focus on yourself? How can you be honest with yourself, brave enough to say, I don't have the energy for you this month. I need to refill my cup. I need to take those swords out, slowly but surely. Um, so this is a time where the challenge this month is going to be asking for help. Because I know you don't want to ask for help, Gemini. You don't do that shit. You're independent. You don't need other people. You're the one that's there for other people. Well, this is the challenge this month. How are you going to be able to ask for help? Not go into that shame space where you're like, I don't want to bother anyone with my problems. I don't want to complain. I don't want to seem like, you know, I'm that way or I don't want to feel like a burden. You're not a burden. And that's going to be bringing a lot of clarity around who's your friend, who is really there for you when you need them, when you need them. Sorry. Um, so. This is a challenging energy, Gemini, but it's going to bring you, again, a lot of clarity because your mind is going a thousand miles an hour right now. You, you could definitely be hurt because of a situation that is kind of out of your control. That's another thing that's challenging for you, letting go of control, learning to accept that you can't control other people's decision. How they, how they treat you, how they react to things. Right now you need to fill your cup and you need to reach out. 
We have Hangman Energy, Page of Cups in the reverse, and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, okay. There's uh, an era in your life that just ended. It feels like, um, I don't want to say you're getting older, but there's definitely that feeling of, oh, okay, I'm growing up. My emotions, my mind, my spirituality, everything, it's changing because I'm going through difficult times. So this is a period that can feel a little bit uncomfortable in the month of September. And Gemini, you know me, I always empower you. I am never here to make you feel bad, to make you doubt yourself. I am never here to send warnings. This is not what the tarot is about. You're going through a challenging time. Challenging doesn't mean bad. It doesn't mean negative. It means that your life will be impacted. This is a really, really important time you're going through. And again, it might sting. It might be freaking uncomfortable. It might be painful. Three of Swords is not a comfortable energy to be in. It's one that will bring peace in the future. It's one that will bring healing and a new perspective. It's like you're, you're saying goodbye to a time in your life where maybe you made some reckless decisions. Maybe you, you weren't careful all the time with your feelings or another person's feelings. Like you're more aware of that. And seeing the pages here, boat page in the reverse, to me means, as a reader, and that's personal to me as a reader, that you are in queen energy. Queen is not about gender. It's not, doesn't have to be about feminine energy. The queens are about nurturing yourself. Because this is what you need right now. You've been giving too much of yourself away. And... Right now, it feels like you're looking for a hand to reach out. Again, you don't want to bother anyone. You don't want to be a burden, and you're not. So your perspective needs to change around that, and that's why the hangman is here. The hangman is a change of perspective that comes in after a time of feeling uncomfortable. But it's Pisces energy. This is the last sign of the zodiac. We're talking about releasing, letting go, and ending this is you energetically graduating into a more adult time in your life. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 75 years old. This is what's happening to you. You are growing up and it's scary at times, uncomfortable. But what comes next is peace, peace of mind, peace restored. Tell me more about Gemini. You see, I'm looking at the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the reverse, and all I can see is that freaking cup in the reverse. Your cup is empty, Gemini. How do you want to give love, give time, give energy when you don't take the time to refill your cup? This is the challenge this month for you. This is going to be changing the rest of your life. This is going to be a really good thing when it comes to your future relationship. And not only your relationship in love, the relationship with yourself before anything, which I believe is something that maybe, maybe you didn't focus so much on yourself in the last you know, I'd say three years. <laughs> Some of you could be going through a period of separation, could be in love, could be at work, could be, you know, there's an era in your life that's ending. Ten of, ten of wands. There's so much releasing happening in your life, letting go. Um, there could be definitely a heavy feeling around your heart chakra and around love um eight of wands eight of cups a lot of repetitive numbers three three eight eight so that to me as a reader and just you know 
in general, to me, numerology is always signs from your guides, angels. You could have been praying a lot, manifesting, talking to something, talking to your guides or the people that passed away that you're missing or connecting with. They hear you and they're right here with you. And they want you to know that you need to focus on yourself. And I know it's so basic, you know, talking about self-love, talking about self-care, talking about filling your cup up. It's coming up really strongly because you've overlooked that for too long, Gemini. And this is going to make you feel uninspired. It's going to make you feel depleted if you don't learn to let the feelings come and take the time to go through this transformation. This is a huge transformation you're going through. Eight is a number of transformation. The page is in the reverse. Again, you're moving into this queen energy, nurturing ourselves and focusing on our inner magic, our inner flame. What are we passionate about? Especially if you just went through a breakup, a separation in love or, you know, with anything else. Um, there's going to be grief coming up. There's a lot you're letting go of. But nothing is over, really. Nothing really dies. It, it's all transforming. It's all in the process of becoming something much better for you. And this is what I love about the Eight of Cups. You're letting go of all those cups because there's an opportunity. There's something that exists right now in the unknown. You don't know about that shit right now. And it's coming up and it's going to surprise you. Look at that, the Eight of Wands. So while you're releasing, while you're going through this transformation, letting go of Whatever needs to stay in the past, whatever you need to accept as uncomfortable and scary as it can be, it's opening the door to new communication, can also be new love. With the Eight of Wands, um, this to me always felt like Cupid's arrow. And there's so much mystery about that card. Where the hell are the wands coming from and where they're going? We don't know. There's this excitement. This is a card highly connected to the heart. Um, intensity, fun, new experiences. Again, we don't know where the freaking wands are going. You might not know right now. What is your next step? What is the next logical step for you? You could definitely be asking your guides, your angels, just the universe, like, What's coming up next? I just need hope. I just need to know that things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. The moment you're able to say, I accept what happened in the past. I accept that it was part of this journey that I'm on. And let the feelings come up. You're going to have some days where, again, you know, you're, you're in a process of grieving right now. All the stages of griefs. Grief is not just about death, you know, and losing someone in the physical world. It can be. And I definitely don't want to overlook that if the Three of Swords for you is about loss. Um, grief comes up all the time. It's always part of us. It never goes away. We grow around grief. But grief, it stays the same. It's not something we can just get rid of. So when you go through something like that, energetically, quote unquote, graduating, going through a period of heartbreak, going through a period where you're trying to really focus on yourself, you're trying to let go of the past, trying to embrace this new beginning, a lot of things are going to be coming up from the past. When you were younger, the you, did you lose someone important? Is there maybe grieving that you didn't really go through? Is there something that you pushed away, that you locked away because it was too painful? And I'm getting like super um, emotional saying that and I don't know why. 
So I know that someone is definitely connecting that message. And that doesn't happen much for me, getting emotional during a reading, but um, the feelings are coming up. And there's a lot of things from the past that you thought you've accept and you thought that, you know, it was okay, you dealt with that shit. No, it's coming up because what you're going through is, is really overwhelming. Um, and this reading is not going to be for everyone, of course, um, but I definitely want to send my love. I just want to take a second to um, send a big, you know, <laughs> hug from where I am to you because I definitely feel um, that there's a lot of sadness kind of trapped in your heart and it, it feels overwhelming because it was ignored for so long. So yeah, this is a challenging month for you, but we're going to pick cards on what's coming up after this challenging energy. And I'm really excited. Look at that. We have another page in the reverse. This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Something was built on weak foundations. And it was demolished. It was burned to the freaking ground, my friend. Now it's the chance you rebuild everything from the ground up on strong foundations. This is what you're doing in the month of September. You are working on the foundation. You're going back to the roots. And that can be painful, but it is definitely one of the most amazing opportunities you'll ever have. And it takes, again, a lot of bravery to go through that. Look at that. I told you. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Empress. This, all of this, everything we've been talking about, all the feelings that's been coming up for me also, um, it's it's the key. It's the key to the door. That's that's the next door, you know, in your journey. The Ace of Wands. You are ready, almost ready for a fiery new beginning. This is a green light. This is it. This is the sun after the storm. This is you again rebuilding everything on strong foundation. And you've learned from your mistakes, my friend, definitely. And that is a gift. It's not everyone who learns from their mistakes. There's a lot of things that you're never going to do again. A lot of things when it comes to how you love, how you treat other people, how you let people love you and how you let other people treat you. And that's the empress work. Everything is changing for you and things are going to be evolving really fast. Look at that Ace of Wands and right away we're in the Two of Wands. It's not like you lost everything. Yes, there is loss. You still have yourself, Gemini. And I think that for a, more, a moment you forgot about that. So with the Empress, which is again number three, we have... Three, 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 which is my, you know, some of you already know that. This is my ultimate angel number. I even have it here engraved on my ring. This is just ultimate angel number. Three, three, three is like anytime you see that is a clear confirmation that the prayers, the demand, anything you've been asking the universe, your guides, they're right here with you right here with you, supporting you, holding you, um, helping you through this challenging time, helping you through this period of transformation. You're definitely protected, Gemini, in ways that you might not understand. And I feel like it can become a lot more clear. It feels like you are... Like I said, going back to the roots, and that is also connected to your spirituality, your faith. And I'm not talking about religion. This is, I will never talk about religion on the channel. It's not, just not a place to do that. What you believe in and this manifesting prayer energy, there's something about that. You know, prayer doesn't have to be connected to religion. Prayer is like, you know, to me, it's, it feels like magic doing a ritual, 
um, manifesting. It's, it's all a prayer, really. Uh, talking out loud to the people you miss, your guides, or sometimes we don't even know. We're like, I don't even know if I have guides or if I, ha I believe in angels, but I'm just going to send my prayer in the universe, you know, and just using your throat chakra, using your voice, it is the most powerful ritual that you can do. You know, sometimes people ask me, how do I do a ritual? I don't know where to start. I don't really understand it. Just doing things with intentions and start by using your voice. Start by saying out loud the things that you want. What are you asking the universe? There's definitely something really important about that. The energy you're putting out, it's going to be coming back to you and it's going to be really healing and really abundant. Gemini, this is an intense reading. This is probably the most intense Gemini reading I've ever done in my life. And I'm really, really, really happy um, that it came out today. So let me pick clear messages from the universe. Have the Nine of Swords that came out. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely not going to be a straight line. Your journey here is not a straight line. It's a spiral, ups and downs. Think about the waves of the ocean. This is just, you know, when we go through a lot of ups and downs with our moods and our feelings, when we go through rough periods like that, um, I always think about nature. I always think about the ocean, which is really connected to moon energy here. Um, you can't control nature. You can learn to see the beauty in it. Um, sometimes the tide is high. Sometimes it's low. It's, it's unpredictable. So this is what's happening with your mind, your nervous system, your brain. There's going to be moments where you're doubting yourself. You're doubting everything. You could even have moments where you can't sleep. You could be, you know, looking at someone's profile, being on social media, doing things that just doesn't nourish your heart, your soul. How can you disconnect a little bit from what isn't real? How can you be more focused, more grounded in the present moment? This is definitely a good time to, you know, get off social media a little bit. Go see the people in real life. Go on a date. Go have fun with someone. Go take a coffee. Go walk. Go in nature. Get off your phone a little bit, especially if you've been feeling overwhelmed, if you've been going through a lot. And there's a clear message coming out for someone. You need to stop scrolling on your phone when you're going to bed at night. So it's a really important message. It came up, it come up a lot for me with the Nine of Swords, which is one of your power cards. You know, it's Gemini energy. Um, your brain is never getting a freaking moment of rest if every morning when you wake up, you take your cell phone first thing, and the last thing you do before you close your eyes is scrolling on your cell phone. Put it in another room. Do something, again, more rooted in the prison moment. Um... Take a bat before going to bed. You, you know, read a book, meditate, focus on you. Stop giving your power away to things, people that just aren't real. There's a lot about that here. We have Queen of Wands and Two of Wands again. So focusing on your inner magic, on yourself. Uh, I'm not surprised if the Queen of Wands is coming up. I told you, you are in queen energy and the empress is all the queens. Um, and this is definitely an important card here for you. This is a supportive energy for you in the month of September. If you use tarot, put that freaking card on your altar, put it on your fridge, put it on your cell phone background, you know. Um, the empress is all the queens. Again, it's not about gender. We're in 2022. It's time that we stop saying that Empress is, uh, <laughs> you know, about women and about giving birth. It can be sometimes, but tarot is not about gender. Um, so Queen of Wands, focusing on your inner magic, focusing on what makes you you. 
what makes you passionate. Also, your power of manifestation. This is the witch of the tarot. Again, what is your relationship with ritual, with magic? Not in a cuckoo way. Uh, literally letting yourself believe that, yeah, this is a new beginning for me. I might not be the most balanced I've ever been. I might still be in Three of Swords energy. I still need to fill my cup as much as possible. But you know what? It's good enough. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And again, there's something about using your magic, your power of manifestation, using your voice. If you are an artist, it's time to make some freaking magic. Write that song, play that instrument, write that freaking book, write that poem. You can definitely focus on the craft much more than the outcome. You know, doing a painting, it doesn't have to look good in the end. Just do something, create something. Uh, let the inner artist kind of speak and um, release. I think that art especially for Gemini's, is an amazing way to release energy. Uh, and again, not focusing on the outcome. Do it for you. Do it because it's something that's rooted in the present moment. Um, drawing, painting, writing, playing an instrument, all of that. Uh, it keeps you busy from overthinking. That's what I say when I'm saying, like, focus on the present moment. I'm not trying to be so preachy here. Um, it's definitely about keeping your hands busy, doing something, and not overthink when it comes to the outcome, when it comes to what is the purpose here. You don't have to, you know, have a purpose every time you sit down and do something. Keep yourself busy. In the present moment, again, really important that you, you disconnect from your phone a little bit. I think that it, it could definitely be overwhelming right now. If your mind is going all those places, take a break, my love. Six of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Ace of Pentacles. What's coming up for you is the chance for new love. You're so good at the end of September. You're so good at filling your cup, giving yourself that time and care, letting go of shame around that. Your cup is overflowing. Look at that shit. This is what we want. We want it to overflow so you have enough to give to someone. Someone that wants an equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. We're talking about balance. We're talking about healthy relationship. Again, grounded in earth energy, focusing on the present moment, forgiving yourself, forgiving other people. Doesn't mean that we forget, but there's a lot of forgiveness happening in your heart by the end of September. And this is going to bring so much release and clarity. And it's going to bring you to this change of direction with the judgment card. Be nicer to yourself. Judgment card is a lot about judgment, literally, how you judge yourself, how you judge where you are today. I should be married by now. I should have my business. I should be doing this and that. You can't have it all at the same time. Celebrate the accomplishments as small as they are, you know, all the little things. Celebrate that. Really important. Don't wait for other people to celebrate you. How can you not judge yourself too much for where you are? Because uh, you're exactly where you should be. And where you are is leading you again to this change of direction. So I feel like uh, at the end of September, there could definitely be an opportunity to travel, an opportunity to meet someone new. You know, the first date, first really meaningful conversation, bringing you into that Four of Swords energy that I talked earlier. Uh, peace restored. This is how the month will end for you. Getting your peace back. 
mentally, spiritually, emotionally. We have the Page of Swords in the upright, on top of the Page of Swords in the reverse. Starting fresh, rebuilding yourself back up on strong foundation, foundations of love, love for yourself. Um, this is the hero of the deck. This is the card that is, this is like a free pass for every difficulty, everything scary that could come up. You're like, no, no, no. I, you know, I'm here. I have myself. I have amazing tools to go through anything right now. I'm not guided by fear. I'm not blocked by fear. I am opening my heart. I'm ready. Uh, once, once the swords are out after, you know, resting, focusing on yourself, giving your mind a break, having meaningful conversation, difficult conversations, um, you're able to really use those swords to create magic, to build something really nice for your future. The scars are still going to be there. They're a part of you. They don't define you. They're just a part of your story. So again, the Ace of Cups is what's coming up. A change of direction, a much more balanced energy. This is really positive what's coming up for you at the end of the month. Really, really positive, really beautiful and exciting. But again, you have to go through all the stage, this period of transformation. It's not cutesy, cutesy. It's not. Uh, it's rough and it will bring you in really uncom uncomfortable places. Sorry, uh, mentally, spiritually, it's supposed to happen. It's happening now, but it could have happened, you know, in a year or two. It was supposed to happen now. We have emotions are running high. Are, am I surprised to see this? No, I'm not surprised. Uh, I cried. <laughs> I fucking cried during this reading, which this is not something that happened. Um, again, 333, three, three, a really important number for you. This is definitely something you should um, pay attention to when it comes to your guides, angels, the universe, when you're asking for a clear sign, 333 is going to come up a lot in September. Uh, let the feelings come. I think that it's time that you're a little bit nicer to yourself, not trying to always put on a smile and a brave face and be like, I'm okay. No, everything's okay. Everything is all right. No, it's okay that you need help. It's okay that you need uh, people right now. It doesn't make you clingy or annoying. They love it. They want to be there for you. Your chosen family, your squad, your, you know, your best friend. Could even be a good time to reach out to an old friend. Someone that you know will be there for you. Someone you know will listen and not judge you. Believe in the impossible. Again, not surprise. There is so much beauty coming in for you. Just make some space in your heart for the possibility of something magical coming your way. And it's 33, 33 on the clock as I'm saying that and ending this reading. So I'm sending all my love, Gemini. This was my favorite reading I've done for you. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I know that my job is done if there's just someone that gets one comforting message in the reading. So sending a big hug and I can't wait to do your bonus reading.